Let's get back to the Ahmad Arbery case. Criminal defense attorney Gerald Griggs joins us from Atlanta. All right, we're going to try this again, Gerald. Okay. All right, so today the three men charged with killing Ahmad Arbery pleaded not guilty to hate crimes and attempted kidnapping charges in federal court. Can you tell us how these charges are different from the ones pending in state court? Well, it's a, a substantial step. I mean, anytime you have federal hate crime uh, charges against somebody, it's a step up. Of course, it's not murder in the federal system. It's uh, deprivation of someone's civil rights that because of the class of race and then the hate crime enhancement. So it's a major step up. Typically, when the federal authorities charge someone, um, they believe they have substantial evidence, have a 90 percent conviction rate. Uh, so I think this is a substantial step up in upgrading of the charges against all three criminal defendants uh, down in Glynn County. Well, you know, they say that hate crimes are really hard to prove for prosecutors, which is why they rarely use them. Do you think that would be the case here? I think so. And that's why typically they don't charge individuals with hate crime. Uh, but when they do, uh, they have a high success rate. And I think in this case, it's quite clear uh, that this was a case uh, that started about race and it ended because of race. Um, they hunted Mr. Arbery, they chased him through the neighborhood, they hit him with a car, and then they shot him twice, all while recording the incident uh, as some type of trophy. And so I think in this particular case, uh, you will have a smooth prosecution uh, for violation of Mr. Arbery's uh, civil rights as well as the hate crime enhancement. All right, and how do you think that these federal charges are gonna affect the murder case pending against the, the three men in state court? I don't think it will have any effect. Uh, again, they have motions hearing which start uh, tomorrow, uh, and I believe that the prosecution is prepared to present the murder charges uh, as charged uh, down by a Glenn County jury. I think that this is just more of um, uh, prosecution on, on behalf of the, the citizens in that community because of the egregious nature of these crimes. So I think it's just, uh, another step towards justice for Mr. Arbery. Um, and I think that because of uh, the, the pending murder charges, um, I think that they, find, they face a substantial uh, uphill battle in fighting these charges. Now, for those just tuning in, um, they should know that jury selection in the, in the case, the state case that is, begins October 18th. And like you said, the court will be hearing pretrial motions later this week. But in the federal case, prosecutors said that they would be handing over evidence to the, to the defense by the end of this week. Is it possible that the federal case could actually be tried before the state case? Um, I don't think so. I, I think that because of the uh, judicial emergency that Georgia is starting to come out of, they really have not been having federal cases. And this particular state case is already scheduled for trial. So I expect the federal case to proceed sometime next year after the state case. Again, they just had arraignment in front of a magistrate court. Um, they still have several other procedural steps before they get to trial. Uh, so I don't think that it will proceed the state case. Again, they have motions hearing, which will be three days of motions hearing on various aspects of evidence. And then um, the state uh, criminal case will proceed to trial sometime in October. Let me get your quick thoughts on the governor's repealing of the um, citizen's arrest law. What were your thoughts about that? And if you even listened to some of his comments regarding this case? I did, and I've been watching that particular uh, matriculation of the bill for a long time. It, it's a long time coming. Uh, that is a Civil War era law that, that helped individuals uh, exercise extrajudicial uh, punishment of mainly African Americans. So it's a substantial step forward to repeal the citizen's arrest statute. There are several exceptions, but for the most part, it is a complete re repeal. And I think it's uh, important for Georgia to take this important step forward. I hate, like Ms. Wanda Cooper Jones said, it had to take our dear brother Ahmad being killed for this to happen, but I think it's a step forward uh, for Georgia, and I applaud all of the individuals that pressed the governor uh, to sign this important legislation, including the Georgia NAACP. Which you are vice president of. All right, criminal defense attorney Gerald Briggs, thank you so much. Thank you.